everybody wants to be on Dame Time. The six-time All-Star Damian Lillard made headlines this summer when it was reported that he wasn't happy with the Blazers and wanted the team to make changes. That started the trade speculation, but Lillard said that he didn't request a trade and wanted to stay in Portland. Cut to last night in Philly, where Ben Simmons has still not played, and Dame heard those cheers. Take a listen. Chance going up here at the center. Kendrick Perkins joining us now. Big Perk, always good to see you. And, uh, gentlemen, they did make a change at the coaching position, obviously bringing in Chauncey Billups. The Blazers are not off to the best start at 3-4. and four. Dame said after the game he's 10 toes in Rip City. But, Stephen A., should he want to dip a toe in the city of brotherly love? You know, me personally, I, I would tell you the Knicks, personally, uh, because, uh, number one, let, 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 me, let me be very, very clear. Let me be very, very clear. I would tell you the Knicks, number one, because I happen to know that if Damian Lillard were to ever depart from Portland, that's where his number one choice would be. Not Brooklyn, but the city, where KD should be, where KD and Harden should be, okay? Not Brooklyn, New York, okay? New York City, all right? And that's exactly what Damian Lillard would want to do if he were not in Portland. But he's committed to Portland. He's committed to giving Chauncey Billups a chance to show what he's made of as a coach. And even though they're struggling early, it's primarily because Damian Lillard is struggling early. I wouldn't sniff at, at, at Philly because I think he'd be the perfect complement to what Doc Rivers wants to do. I think he'd be a perfect complement to Joel Embiid, and he's got the heart and guts and whatever. Ignore these struggles. Damian Lillard is shooting less than 35% from the field. He's shooting less than he's shooting around 23% from three-point range. Ladies and gentlemen, this man has been in the league entirely too long. He's a marksman extraordinaire. He's a closer. He is a superstar in this game. He's just going through some bad shooting woes at this particular moment in time. I assure you, it will not last. And if I were to sit, uh, sit up there and tell you, again, when we think about the culture, that's being built in New York City, KP. When we think about the culture, okay? It's about the <laughs> culture, all right? When you think about that, right? Listen to what Damian Lillard said last night, post-game, when he was addressing the media about his struggles. He said, listen, man, this builds character. He said, it's about rising from these. He said, I look at this as a challenge. You embrace this and all of that other stuff. Philadelphia, that's ex he basically said exactly what Philadelphia wanted to hear from Ben Simmons, but never did. That's why Damian Lillard is their type of guy. But he would still be better in New York because the Mecca, the culture, the city, okay. the whole nine. Okay. Oh, oh, it, it, it's it, always it, back it, to it, him. It's more Let's suitable for Damian on. Lillard. Kendrick. Kendrick. You know what? I knew Stephen A was going to jump on that side of things. <laughs> and, and Molly, I just got a question. Why every yeah. time the New Yorkers say New York, they say New York? New York, you know, they get over exact they over exaggerated like he's doing right now. You want me to say it like you would say it? You want me to say it like you would say New York. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that better? I, is that better? I, Stephen A, look, Dame is at the point in his career, right? Where he mm -hmm. wants to do what? He wants to win the championship. Where mm -hmm. can he win the championship at right now if he was to get traded or say or force his way out of Portland? It would be Philly. You know why? And I'm not knocking the culture of the New York Knicks. All I'm telling you is, is that Dame Lillard and Joel Embiid is a match made in heaven. And then you have to think about what the Portland, what uh, Philadelphia would have to give up to actually get Dame. They would have to give up probably Ben Simmons, who's not playing anyway. And then they have other assets would actually be able to help Portland and Philly will be able to keep a lot of pieces so that they still can contend for a title. If he get traded to New York, then you have to give up a big piece like a Julius Randle and some others. And now you're not actually competing for a title, but you're just actually competing to stay in the playoff hunt. That's why we encourage Dane to go to Philly and not New York to the Knicks. The man, the, Perk, the man ain't even answered a question. 
He just went straight <laughs> to New York. The man didn't even oh, answer the question about the 76ers. Yes, he should want to go to Philly. And I, I'm in line with Perk when it comes to this is about win now. Like, Dame has been a part of a building and a rebuilding and trying to figure out what the Portland Trailblazers were going to do. Obviously, he spoke highly for Chauncey to get the job and felt like something would manifest there. But if he's talking about winning a championship, the 76ers are ripe especially for what he does and the numbers he will put up continually throughout the, throughout the course of a season. They, it, I look at this situation for Dame like you look at the situation when KD left and went to Golden State. The time is now, bro. Like, so if you identify teams mm-hmm. and you're thinking about where you should go, mm-hmm. if, you, if you happen to not truly be ten toes down right. in Rip City, you need to go somewhere where you okay. add – a championship and not add a part of a rebuild or something that somebody is trying to do. I want to move on to the Celtics. Other than, other than that, I want to say I, I, would, I wouldn't rule out him winning in New York. I just want to throw that out. But we got to move on to the Celtics. We got to move on to the Celtics. We got to move on to the Celtics, Bobby. I wouldn't rule it out. I wouldn't rule it out. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.